Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Linz. I'm a blogger based in Vancouver, BC, and I talk everything fashion, hair, and skincare, both on YouTube and Instagram, and we're trying a couple things on TikTok. So I'll leave my Instagram here, and my TikTok here. And before we get into today's video, I would just want to send a gentle reminder to please subscribe. I appreciate the support. And today's video, we are talking fall 2021 trends. I love doing a trend report for each season, and fall is everyone's favorite fashion season, except for mine, ironically. I'm a summer girl, I love summer, I love not wearing coats, I love feeling light, I like floral prints, and I like color, but definitely second place is fall. I do love fall, the chunky knits, the neutral tones, the warm tones. I'm excited for that era for sure. And this year there's some really oh, and this year are, there are some really really cool trends. So without making this video too long, let's just get into it. Also disclaimer, I've hand selected 10 trends that I love. These trends are going to be more on the classic side. My personal style tends to be a little bit more on the classic. I also don't believe in investing my money into trends that are only going to be around for three months time. So if you are looking for trends that are going to be around for a little bit, they're worth your money and you tend to have a little bit more of like an elegant, sophisticated style. This video is for you and truly for anyone, but if you're looking for an uber, uber trendy um, video, might not, might not be it. But if you're looking for some trends to make your look a little bit more modern and you don't want to waste your money, this video is definitely for you. Let's get into it. Alright, so trend number one. So I did a little bit of research, aka I went and just browsed all the stores ranging from like more um, luxury brands down to all the way to H&M Zara and ended up buying myself a few pieces, including this blazer. It's just like a classic oversized blazer obsessed I got two amazing blazers for $25 plus 25% off because it was my birthday um, but anyways trend number one is knots and what I mean by that is you're seeing knots in dresses in skirts I've seen some really pretty meaty length um, knotted skirts little dresses I'll throw in some photos that I took of um, items I saw um, but knots are really really popular in tops, skirts, dresses, everything right now. And to be honest, I don't think it's ever out of style, but it's very in right now, and I just love that look. It's very put together and chic, and you can use very minimal accessories, and it just makes a very classic outfit. Just that, give that one extra piece of detail, and I'm so here for the knotted. Trend number two, if you watched my fashion trends for 2021 as a whole video back in January, this was one of them and it's that bright, bright, bright green color. Um, you've, if you have an Instagram account, you've seen it all over the bloggers. It's that like, it's not an olive green. It's not a, like a lime green. It's like just this like bright, bright Pantone green. It's beautiful. Um, and that is here to stay throughout the fall. I popped through quite a few stores and saw that color. I still haven't bought a piece. I want one. And I saw this skirt and it was a knot, knotted skirt in that green color. And they didn't have my size and I was devastated. Um, but it is still here to stay. It's a great pop of color. I think it's very flattering in quite a few different skin tones. Um, and yeah, I am vouching for it. We have it for at least another year, I would say. It's beautiful, it's a great pop of color, and I'm just happy to see color back in fashion. Number three, which has been mentioned previously in other trend reports, is dark denim. I hate to say it, guys, but low-rise denim is coming back, and that is absolutely not approved on my end. Nope, not here for it. I do not need my gut hanging out of my jeans. <laughs> it's a no for me, but a denim trend that I am on board with is a darker denim for years We've seen more of that like Levi's light wash um, Mid wash kind of looks but dark denim hasn't really been in um, For younger demographics anyways um, Dark denim I think is so classic. I love a Parisian inspired style So I'm happy to see some dark denim going in make sure they are not skinny jeans. No skinny jeans guys. I'm not trying to be mean, but no skinny jeans. Straight leg, cigarette cut, boot cut, wide cut are all in. 
skinny jeans is a no, but the dark denim is. Like a little pair of like ballet flats, loafers, sandals, heels with a dark cigarette cut jean. Chef's kiss. Number four, believe it or not, is on my list. I tend to be quite neutral. When I was younger, I loved prints. I had such a free people, bohemian um, phase, and I loved that phase. But as I got older, again, I started just trying to invest in like more quality pieces and lots of neutrals and like trendy colors that come in and out of style. But um, prints have not been a major part of my wardrobe in a little while but this year you're seeing lots of paisley prints which in my mind is like etro like the brand etro i'm obsessed with um and paisley i think is so classic and have done well is so elegant and chic so i'm happy to see paisley back in style and then just with the 60s inspired era we're going through right now lots of 60s prints lots of big bold prints are in and i'm also here for it also pairing prints fun fact the best way to pair prints is doing like a small print whether it's like a tiny polka dot and then like a big paisley print clashing prints is so so chic if you watch sex in the city gossip girl any of those shows they do it so well and I need to get that back into my life. Like eight. The next trend is Argyle, but more specifically that like super preppy style Gossip Girl. I'm such a Gossip Girl freak. I love Gossip Girl. But there's lots of very preppy styles in loafers, which I love everything. But more specifically, Argyle prints are back. And here the sweater vests are also still in so like an argyle sweater vest mo moment also a very easy trend to thrift um so i'm gonna be thrifting in the next few weeks because i'm going on a trip to montreal i want to be fashionable when i go there um but yeah i am gonna be going and scouting some of these trends while i'm out at thrift stores and argyle is definitely on my list trend number six are those peter pan collars I was not sure about this. Um, they have been big this year, but they've specifically blown up for fall. Um, all the designers nearly have a version of this. Everywhere you go, Zara, H&M, all the fast fashion, ASOS, you name it, they've got the Peter Pan collars on just about everything, and I've decided to like them. <laughs> I do think it is very Gossip Girl-esque as well, have a Blair Waldorf moment, um, and I think that you can make it chic if you're not over-accessorizing it too much. So for that sake, I am going to buy myself a Peter Pan collar or something, and it made my list this fall. Trend number seven is crochet. This is also a big trend for spring. And generally I would say crochet is kind of like almost like a vacation moment when you're out in the sun you can do like a cute crochet like beach cover-up but they're actually making crochet for fall very cute I've seen some really cool pieces layering like a tank with a crochet piece over top they're doing some cool crochet like style hoodies um, yeah they're making crochet cool for fall and I'm also here for it Next is probably my favorite, and that is skirt suits. I'm a suit fanatic. I love blazers. I have an entire closet just for blazers. That's how many I have. Um, but skirt suits, so it's like a little mini skirt, which is made from the bottom half of a suit jacket, and then like a cropped suit top. So it's essentially like these brands are making a suit jacket and skirt out of one full-size suit, and they're so cute. It gives great shape to women. It's trendy. It's fun. It's so chic. And this is my favorite trend. It's amazing. And I need to get a set ASAP. And trend number 10, our very last one, is kind of two, but shackets and oversized button downs. I can vouch for the oversized button downs. I have a few, all thrifted. Great, great item to thrift. Girls, head to the men's section. Find yourself the biggest white sh like button down shirt you can find i found beautiful like linen blend ones i found so many i also found this really pretty like orange color that i wore all summer um just because that was like a trendy color for summer 
not so much for fall but try and find like a trendy fall color in like a men's like oversized button down those are amazing to just pair over top of like sports bras with like a pair of jeans or like tucked into jeans with honestly everything i do like biker shorts like super casual with like a tank top and the shirt over top i've worn the button downs endlessly another really cute look is kind of like a Hailey bieber-esque style with like a pair of just like super simple strappy heels and just a massive oversized um shirt if you can find a fabric that's a little bit stiffer that's like the, the best find for to wear it as a dress but if you can find one of those at a thrift store oh my god so chic and shackets you've probably heard of i'll pop in a photo um those are staying for fall 2021 that was a 2020 trend that really stuck i love them i don't have one i did steal my friend steven's um for a shoot once this fall I'll throw in the photo here but i do love the style so i think it's time i get one i think i almost want a black one because i have a lot of lighter color coats um but yeah shackets and oversized button down shirts are so key easy to thrift as well but the shackets might might be a little bit trickier but they're in every store imaginable all right guys that wraps up my 10 top trends for fall 2021 i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you find remember to try your best to thrift or find sustainable options i know it's hard i recently put something up on instagram and i was like i get a lot of backlash on instagram sometimes because i am trying to be more ethical with my shopping but the reality is it is september nearly and i have only bought a handful of clothing items this entire year which I'm so proud of myself because I used to do hauls. I used to shop from like Shein and Romway and Alibaba and all those places. And I've cut back so, so, so much. So just think about when, just think when you're buying things. Just think. It's, it really is like it, A, saves your wallet, B, saves the planet, and C, just also forces you to create outfits with the things you have. And I think in the, and you end up with like way better outfits rather than just having this like massive closet of random things when you're thinking about what you're buying you can really put together so many more outfits truly i i live by it i have such a smaller closet now and i just am so proud of each piece and i love each piece and when i wash them i take care of them anyways i'm rambling but i hope you guys enjoyed this video Enjoy your fall 2021 and tag me in your outfits. If you sh buy anything from this video, let me know. I can't wait to see. And gentle reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have Instagram, my Instagram is right here. And if you have TikTok, my TikTok is right here. I'll talk to you guys soon and thank you for watching. Bye.